I've heard acetaminophen causes autism, and I don't want my child to be autistic. We don't know that acetaminophen causes autism. That is a deceptive statement that we have to be wary of. Acetaminophen is tested in a safe way to treat pain and fever in children with little side effects when used at appropriate doses. Other medications for pain and fever also have known side effects. What are these medications that you're talking about? There are two other types of medication we can use for pain. Over-the-counter options include non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen, and these can be great for pain and fever. But again, if used at incorrect doses, they can cause trouble with bleeding or with organs like the stomach and kidneys. Another prescription option used in the hospital or after surgery is an opioid medication like morphine or oxycodone. These can be good for pain, not fever, but can cause trouble breathing, make kids sleepy, and have the potential for addiction if used at the wrong doses for too long. Wow, I'm kind of nervous to use anything now. Your pediatric healthcare provider can partner with you to make sure you choose the medication that is best for your child and their symptoms. Pain and fever medications are not always needed. How do I know what the recommended dosing is? Dosing is based on the weight and age of your child. Follow instructions on the packaging, but if it's unclear, check with your pediatric clinician to ensure the dose is correct. I'm so glad we're having a conversation about this. Okay, let's talk about what works for my child. Mm.